those scars will not speak to us of horror in heaven. They will not speak to us about great pain. They will speak to us about the most extraordinary love that has ever been shown in the history of the world. Yeah. And today, you either will respond to that love and say, yes, Jesus, come into my heart and life and save me. If you've never done that. Or you will say no. There's, there's not an option. You've, you've heard the message. And so as God calls, your choice today is either to say, yes, Jesus, I believe. And I ask you to come in and save me and make me a child of God. Or you say no. To the greatest expression of love that will ever, ever be. And so today, I can't make that choice for you. Oh, if I could I'd sure do it. I've never regretted it myself. But today, as children of God, we have to remember, as we come to this table, to carefully, daily, look at our life. As we start off the day, we believe God providentially works. We believe in the sovereignty of God. As we deal with struggles, that even those struggles, somehow God is at work using. And as we do things God's way, and what matters to Him matters to us. And we, we walk as Jesus walked. That we're going to see Him accomplish all the things that we could only hope for. But we cannot do on our own. And so, some to respond to receive Christ today. Some to uh, say yes to Jesus to confess sin and to open doors of areas in your life that you've closed for many years. To him and say, Lord Jesus, whatever you want to do in this area of my life, in this part of my struggle, please come in and make me like yourself. Let's pray. Father in heaven, thank you. Well, we could never say thank you enough. We can't even live in such a way, really, in, in this flesh, to say thank you. But we know that if we've been saved, you see us in the righteousness of your Son. And that is astounding. And we thank you for that. We pray, Lord, that you would help us to examine our hearts now as your children. That in these moments, as they're singing, as there's this quiet time of prayer, your Spirit brings to thought anything that we need to confess and set aside. These things that the devil tries to use to destroy our love and our unity. Jesus, help us to lean on your love. Lord, there may be someone here today that needs to say yes to you for salvation. You're, you've been tugging at their heart maybe for a while. Right now, they could just... Give up to your love. Surrender to your great love. And say, yes, Jesus, please come in and forgive me. I want to turn away from hanging on to my life to live it my way. And I want to be yours. Please, I receive you. Make me a child of God. I believe. I trust you and you alone. Lord, for that person who prayed that prayer sincerely from her heart, I know there may be a great burden of sin that they realize that's been lifted off of them and they may have this sense that they have crossed a, a mighty river of fear and anxieties that they have been set free by. They would want to follow you in baptism to let the world know that they have, in fact, become yours. They're going to be obedient to your word in Matthew 28. Lord, help them to come and let me know that they're ready to make that public. Lord, you may be calling some to be a part of this church family. You may be calling some to ministry. 
You may be calling some to put down addictions or, or whatever it might be. May your will be accomplished in our hearts today. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. As we stand, as we sing, as God has worked in your heart, I invite you to come and make that known. I'll meet you here. Pray to receive Christ. Let me pray with you. God's calling you to be a part of the church family. You come. I'll meet you here. Jesus, draw me ever near. As I lay over through the storm, you have called me to this passage. And I'll follow the white wall. May this journey bring a blessing. May I rise on wings of faith. And at the end of my heart's testing, with your likeness, let me wait. Guide me through the tempest. Keep my spirit stay and sure. When the midnight meets the morning, let me love you even more. May this journey bring a blessing.